Hey guys, Chelsea from Attention to Details, and today I want to talk to you guys about extractors. Now, interiors are kind of my specialty. I prefer to do interiors, honestly. I think they're far more gratifying. And the two tools that I have come to appreciate most within my interiors are my drill brush and my extractor. And I want to talk to you guys. I know I've talked to you about drill brushes before, but I want to talk to you today about the extractors that I use. And you can see behind me, these are the two that I've had the most experience with. Um, and honestly, both are fantastic um, pieces of equipment, but I want to kind of share with you why one has taken the edge over the other and how I use it, how I get great results. So let's get into it. So I want to share with you, this is our interior. We're going to be doing a shampooing on the inside as the customers requested and I would have recommended it even if they hadn't have requested it. Because we have light interior, this is a great test vehicle for me to show you the effectiveness of the extractor that I'm going to be demoing for you guys and that is the Aqua Pro Vac. But you can see we've got a lot of just wet stains that have dried and it kind of reveals the soiling that's in the carpet. You could use a multiple way of methods. Sorry, I almost tripped over my vacuum there. Um, you can see again here, we just need a nice, consistent clean. You could use a steamer with Folex and a microfiber or even something like super clean. Um, but sometimes I, I'm not very satisfied. When you've got um, heavy soiling like this in the seats, I do not prefer to use just a, uh, you know, kind of a agitation um, and then mop up method. I prefer to completely extract. I find that it's a far more consistent clean when it dries. There's no dirty stains or even clean stains. And if you know what I mean, if I were to take this stain here that's in the middle, spray it with my solution, sometimes you can clean the stain, but you actually push the dirt further out, creating kind of a deeper ripple. And then you have a clean stain versus a dirty stain. So we're going to just get a nice consistent clean on the inside of our vehicle. But I first want to kind of walk you through the specifics, the specs of these two shampooers and, you know, kind of the pros and cons of why you would want to use them and how they might fit into your world. So let's break this down. All right, so the Rug Doctor Carpet Spotter Junior, this was the first official extractor that I purchased. Um, and I'll be honest, the system that I used to use before I purchased this extractor is I simply used my wet dry vac. I would take my filter out. I would grab my hose, put it on either mist setting or shower setting. I would spray my carpets down with my cleaner, like so. And then I would... Carpet's not too saturated. We didn't necessarily douse it. You're putting down very similar the amount of water flow that you would with an extractor. If you don't have an extractor, this is a great method to kind of clean your carpets. Now, these aren't heavily soiled or anything like that, but this does a great job of just kind of a quick cleaning, a light cleaning, get in, get out, you're done. You don't have to spend a lot of money or really any more money than you do for your extractor. So that's a great option. Now, if you're finding that one, you wanna be faster, you want to be more efficient, you want to get deeper cleaning results, then an extractor is going to be the method that you're going to want to choose. Now, because my method was this before and it was a lot longer and tedious, I am a stay-at-home mom. And I know for any of us, really, it doesn't matter if you have kids, um, time is precious, time is money. And so you want to be efficient and quick at the same time. You don't want to necessarily have to compromise results with efficiency. And so for me, I stepped up to the Rug Doctor Carpet Spotter Junior. Purchased this at Walmart for $128. Um, advantages to having something like this, one, you are spraying water and suctioning at the same time. It has the motorized brush, and let me actually go ahead and plug this in real quick. Give me one second. So let me show you. You can turn the motorized brush head on. And let me go ahead and do this section to show you. I'm not even going to spray water. Let me show you how much water it can pull up compared to your wet dry back. It's got fantastic suction. Side. 
So I've been able to extract the carpets, um, you know, pull more water out, which means a faster dry time, less risk of wicking, and a better result for the customer. Now, it, it has great, great suction. The cons to this product, the head is bulky. It's very difficult to get underneath of um, like gas pedals, brake pedals, things like that. You can't get into tight spots. And because the water sprays from back here, you are not going to get you know, to the edge water and then suction. You kind of have to lift your nozzle. Let me show you real quick. Give me one second, I'm sorry, it's very loud. You kind of have to lift the water and you can see it kind of sprays all over the place and then go in. So a lot of times, let's say I'm wanting to clean up to the edge, I would have to spray here and then come in and suck it up. And it is very loud. The other con with this thing that I found that kind of really frustrated me is the hose length. When you are working on a vehicle, let's say a truck, something that is lifted, your hose is not going to reach very far. You can see I've got about this much lift. So if I'm, let's say, bear with me, if I'm working on a vehicle, I'm not gonna be able to get every nook and cranny. So what will happen is that right there. And then you've got water flooding into your motor and then you've got moisture kind of spitting out back here and it smells like it's burning and it's just not good for the motor. It's not my favorite thing. That actually was the main reason why I ended up getting another extractor because I needed something that one, you know, had a longer hose and it also was more portable. This being, you know, I had to kind of lift it and move it everywhere. Um, it's great for working around the house. You know, it does have the handle released, um, but you know, I didn't really necessarily need that in my world. Um, but for what it is, it's a fantastic product. You can kind of work around some of these issues if budget is of the issue. Now, the reason why I moved to the Aqua Pro Back, let me share with you guys. So one, it's a quality made product. But it's not to the point where I would say we've got, and this is the only, this is the only con I have of this product. Sometimes getting this sitting on there just right, it takes a little bit of finesse, a little bit of patience. And when you're in a hurry and you, you've got a time limit, customers coming, I don't really want to have to be dealing. But once you get it secure, that is key because then that's going to affect your suction if you don't have it on right. But let me show you guys my hose length. So I am able to leave this on one side of the vehicle and I can get every nook and cranny of that side of the vehicle. And then let me show you how easy it is. Come on, little fella. He's like my little puppy. He just follows me everywhere. And I can just wheel him around and get him to where I need to go very easily. Now let me go ahead and pause this and I'm gonna plug this in and show you the amount of suction and how much soiling it can lift up. So give me one second to plug this in. All right, so let me go ahead and plug this on. Now, to be able to spray water, it's very simple. You turn the vacuum on and then the ability to spray the nozzle. You wanna make sure that you don't ever have this on without this being on first. So, we've got our water in there. I like the clear head. You can definitely see your soiling. We're just gonna come in here, spray our cleaner. Sorry for the shakiness. Gonna agitate, and then we're gonna go ahead and extract. go ahead and lay that out for it to dry in the sun and then we're gonna go ahead and keep moving on this interior but we're gonna go ahead vacuum the entire 
vehicle out and then I'm going to show you how I use the Aqua Provac and my drill brush to get deep cleaning results. The customer's going to be blown away. Their vehicle's going to look like new. I'm going to keep this on just so I don't have to keep going back and forth. We're going to do this bottom section here. Just so you can see. Don't be afraid of using your chemical. You don't have to totally oversaturate. Try to lift them in your scrubbing. There we go. Now I only recommend the white for seats, the white brush. There's other colors, but the white is the most sensitive because you don't want to snag your fabric. And then we're going to come in here and rinse. So let's take a look at our finished look. You can see our carpets and mats look fantastic. We've got a nice, even clean. This part right here is just drying a little bit. But you can see I've had the heat running on the inside for about a half an hour. We still got a little bit of uh, moisture left to dry up but for the most part this is a night and day transformation would I say I removed every every stain no there may be some light stains like here there may be some light stains here I can see kind of a darker shadow but when you look at the carpets from a dis or the seats from the distance sorry forgive me for keep saying carpets you can see we've got a nice uniform even clean look even our armrest came up nice and clean so I hope you guys enjoy that video, kind of showing you the capabilities of the Aqua Provac. It is a fantastic extractor. Um, I know it can be quite an investment for some of you who are beginners, but if you are wanting to take your interior cleaning to the next level, you are wanting to increase your speed and get better results, and you're looking for an affordable extractor, you're not wanting to spend $800 or thousand dollars for mighty or um, something of a higher grade this is a great starter um, professional extractor to kind of get you where you need to go do you need heat for it no or is it you know a hundred percent foolproof no but for the most part most interiors I have not encountered one situation where I haven't been able to completely wow my customers and get great results and I can shampoo carpets and seats in under an hour so Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Be sure to like the video if you, you know, picked up anything valuable. Be sure to subscribe. We've got some great videos coming out in the next few weeks and days. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys later.